Hi, it's Brad from BackcountrySkiingCanada.com and today we're going to talk about the Fisher Traverse Boots, a new boot from Fisher. It also comes in a carbon version. Uh, this Traverse boot comes in at 2,160 grams, so it's a super lightweight boot. That's about 4.3 pounds, and that's for the size 26.5. Uh, it's got an 80 degree cuff rotation front to back, so that's a huge cuff rotation, about as much as you can get in a ski boot. Traditionally, you'll see 40, 50, maybe 60, 80 degrees. It's huge. It's like wearing a running shoe. Uh, sizes are 23.5 to 29.5 and that's on the half sizes and this boot is very similar to the Atomic Backland boot that we reviewed a few years ago I think last year that can, review can be found over here and it's also similar to the Arcteryx Procline boot and the Scarpa F1 we reviewed the Scarpa F1 last year the year before as well and that review can be found over here similar to the F1 the uh, Traverse boot uses the BOA system. So you can see the BOA on the front here, and it's basically a simple little dial. You, t you, you ratchet left to right to tighten up, pull it out to loosen the boot up again, and it uses these pulleys here to uh, tighten this forefoot up quite, quite effectively. Um, it's also got a built-in gaiter, waterproof gaiter, underneath that that you uh, can keep all the snow and water out. Because it's not an overlap construction, it's just pulling the shell together, you need that waterproof gaiter in there to keep the snow and uh, potentially water out of there. It's got a very simple walk mode on the back. That's in uh, walk mode, back into ski mode. It clicks back down, metal on metal, very secure. Uh, the liner is a plow liner. It's not the thickest or warmest liner on the market, but uh, it's got to be light because this is a really light boot and that was the, the purpose of this. This is basically a dedicated ski touring boot that you can also do a couple of randonnée races in if you choose. Um, so the liner has to be light to accommodate that light weight as well. It's got a Grillamid upper and in the carbon version you've got a carbon upper. So the carbon version is a, a bit more money than this version, but the Fisher Traverse uh, is a nice touring boot and you can also do uh, a rando race in it as well as I mentioned before. I was surprised at how stiff this boot was though. Um, I initially took it out of the box and because it's so incredibly light I thought there's no way I'm going to ski this on a groomer resorts but I actually did the job okay. I was, I was really impressed with it. Um, it's a very stiff boot. Right out of the box it fits well. Um, surprisingly stiff given the weight. Uh, really good heel hold because of this BOA system. It pulls your, your foot back into the boot and holds the heel down very, very well. Uh, I needed minimal uh, boot fitting to get this to fit my feet and once I was in it, touring is obviously going to be uh, you know, a great experience because it's such a light boot, uh, but you can also get down the hill at the resort if you need to come back in bounds as well. You know, it's not a, it's not a resort boot, but it can do the job uh, should you need it. Um, this is only compatible with tech bindings though because you can see it's very short uh, on the nose here. It can be used with a kingpin binding as well. There is enough on the heel to accommodate a kingpin binding. So just tech bindings for this boot. Uh, and the Fisher Traverse comes in at $899 Canadian. If you want the uh, carbon version, that would be $999, so just shy of a thousand. So if you're looking for a super lightweight, rando-ish kind of boot, the Fisher Traverse boot is super light. It's got a crazy, crazy, crazy uh, cuff rotation on it and it can still actually be a fairly stiff boot for the ski down so you're not going to compromise too much by going this light. Brand new boot from uh, Fisher this year, innovative BOA to hold the forefoot in and pull that heel back into the pocket and overall a really light boot that I would recommend. So if you're looking for a lightweight touring boot or a Randall race boot, check out the Fisher Traverse boot. For other boot reviews go to BackcountrySkiingCanada.com. Thanks very much. Thank <laughs> you.